in this video, we're going to talk about how to hold the guitar. Uh, we're also going to talk about the uh, basic posture you need whenever you're playing guitar uh, and the general presentation of your left and right hand, what they do on the guitar. Um, now, fortunately, this is a very ergonomic instrument. Um, it has a long history um, and the guitar reached its maturity um, kind of late in the 19th century. Uh, it used to be a lot smaller, um, uh, about the size of a, a ukulele or a mandolin. Um, and so uh, a little bit harder to hold, really small instruments. Uh, and at the maturity of the instrument late in the 19th century, uh, it got this design right here and it has these nice uh, comfortable cutaways. Um, and generally we put this cutaway, um, we put that part directly on our leg, either the right leg or the left leg. Um, most people, uh, when you're playing a steel string acoustic, this is a classical guitar, it has a nylon uh, strings. Um, most people uh, put the guitar on their right leg and um, uh, right in this little cutaway part right here. Uh, you notice my right arm is going over the top of the instrument. Generally in this region right here, really depends on uh, your particular body. I have really long arms. Um, so whenever I uh, play guitar and put my right arm on the guitar, you can see uh, I'm touching it right about here, about the halfway point of my forearm. Uh, some people it's a little bit farther. If you have a little bit shorter arms, you might be touching the guitar on your um, on your elbow, but it could be really anywhere in this region. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, I have my thumb uh, just placed right here on the strings, kind of in the middle of this position from the from the neck to the bridge, you know, right about here. That's kind of just the the nominal position, right? That's the basic playing position. So wherever your arm falls in that in that range over here, and you can uh, hopefully see that I have the guitar in this um, orientation. It's not. Um, you know, the neck isn't, isn't down towards the ground or super high up. Uh, it's about this area right here. And there's a reason for that. Um, if we look at your, at your left arm, um, and if you were to, uh, uh, just put it to the side of your body, just relax your arm completely, Re completely relax it. Your, your arm is parallel to your body, to your torso. Um, but if you lift your forearm up, don't, don't move your upper arm. Just, just bring your arm up like this. Uh, you can see where your hand is, where your hand position is. See what I mean? That's going to depend on your body too. Um, but for me, it puts it, puts it right here. And that's typically where you want the guitar. So you don't have to reach super far forward. The thing is, if you, um, if your, your arm is not even with your body, if you're reaching forward, you start to feel the triceps uh, in the back of your arm. You start to feel them tense up and stretch. Uh, if you reach back like this, you feel the opposite. You feel your biceps uh, start to tense a little bit. But when it's right in the middle, you have kind of an even amount of, of, of just a, a little bit of tension, just enough to hold your forearm up. Uh, but it's even on your arm. So there's a little bit of leeway, a little bit, a little bit forward, a little bit back, uh, but not extremely reaching forward or, or reaching back. So if your guitar is, is like, like this, and you can see my arm here is reaching back, that's a little bit too far, right? I can feel it tense up right here. That's gonna create problems at your fingertips. You wanna have um, a very uh, uh, rested, um, and, and uh, muscles that are not under tension. The only muscles that really should be under tension are your finger muscles right here, and we'll go over that later. Um, so we wanna really work to the physiology of your body. So that's why I say, um, uh, you know, test it by relaxing your arm, bring your hand up. Also, when you do, when you do that, notice the, the shape of your left hand, right? So if your hand is completely rested, you can look down at it, and look and see what it looks like. My hand, when it's completely rested, no tension, looks like this. Notice how the fingers are curved, right? And the relation of my thumb to my fingers. I'm showing it to you like this, not like this for a reason, right? I have all my fingers more or less in a line. See that? And that's kind of what you wanna, what you wanna look at. That's what you wanna put on the guitar. 
if you were to use any one of these strings kind of as a as a straight edge, as a point of reference, right? Let's just say to keep it to keep it simple, this this string down here, right? This high E string right here, right? Um, so what you would do is bring your rested hand position, right? See your fingers more or less make a straight line. If they don't, that's okay. Imagine a straight line, you know, of relative reference. That's what you put on the guitar, right? So that shows you your hand position, right? The, um, how much of a twist it might have. You have to conform the guitar to your body. And that's a big thing about playing the guitar, any instrument really, but um, the guitar is really, really good for that. It's a lot easier to make the guitar work for you than anything else. If you sit at a piano, you're kind of at the mercy of what a piano is like. If you play a violin, it's this small instrument that's kind of awkward. Guitar, we can move it around and it works at just about any kind of angle, but we wanna make it work for, for our particular physiology, okay? So that really shows you the position where, where you would have it uh, in terms of the neck position, close to your body, farther away. Um, and then if your forearm is kind of at just a, a gentle rise upward, so you're not down like this and you put the guitar down in your, in your hand uh, and have your hand resting on your leg, you wanna have it at this kind of, you know, slightly upward angle. So you can see where that places it. Now, again, based on your physiology, that might, it may feel awkward. You might not be able to, um, to get the guitar in just the right position. You might need to, to experiment a little bit. Um, you can get a footstool like this. It's a um, adjustable footstool, different heights. Um, and you simply put your foot on the footstool and it raises the guitar up. And some people find that really, really comfortable. Um, they're only about 20 bucks. You can get one if you want, or you can get uh, a block of wood or um, your uh, hard shell guitar case or a cinder block. It doesn't really matter. Anything to, to raise your foot up um, would, uh, would be worth experimenting with, and I would recommend doing so. So it, it kind of just raises the guitar up a little bit, hopefully makes it a little bit more comfortable. Um, I mentioned your general hand position. Um, when your hand is at rest is kind of this circle shape. That's really important. Whenever you're pressing notes on the guitar, uh, you're not exactly just pressing the notes, you're squeezing the notes. If you take your finger, like see your middle finger and make a circle like this and squeeze, right? Squeeze really hard. You feel a lot of pressure on the tip of your finger right? Which by the way is where we need to put the string. String goes on the tip of the finger when we're playing guitar, right? Um, you feel a lot of pressure there and then you feel an even amount of muscle pressure, bone pressure, right? You feel a ton of pressure around it. If you squeeze really hard, almost as hard as you can, then you kind of start to feel a little, little pain throughout your hand, right? Um, that's way more pressure than you actually need. Um, later on, uh, we'll have a pressure exercise that I'll show you. It's kind of fun, kind of, kind of interesting. Um, try this though. Try to flatten your finger like this so that the, the pad of both of your fingers, right? Where your, uh, um, your fingerprint is, put it like this and then squeeze really hard. Ow, that doesn't feel good, right? I feel a lot of pressure, a lot of pain immediately right up here. Ow, bad. And, and right back here, right? What, what is it doing? It's, it's hyperextending your uh, joints the wrong way, right? That feels terrible, it feels horrible. Um, some people try to play that way. They try to play with the pads of your fingers. Sometimes you can kind of get away with it um, if, you're, if you're playing bass. Uh, sometimes bass players will, will kind of play that way. Um, so again, it's not a hard, fast rule. There are some times when you would want to play with the pad of your finger. Um, but generally speaking, we don't. And for guitar, we typically just use the, the tip of your, of your finger. So we wanna create that kind of circle shape. Again, we'll have an exercise in that later um, in another video. 
Uh, but that's generally the position we kind of want to have our hands in. So we don't want to, you know, I'm not ready to play guitar this way, right? I don't have flat fingers. I'm, I'm wanting to go to the very tips of my fingers right here, okay? I already mentioned the right arm. Um, that's going to be in this general position. You wouldn't really want to be down here. Um, it's kind of awkward. Or if you're way up here like this, um, you know, something's a little bit off. You're not going to have movement and movability. Mo movability? Mobility. How about that? That's a better word. You're not going to have mobility of your, of your hand and of your fingers. And especially if we get to finger style, y you, you can't, yeah, you can't do it. You don't have that much movement. This is sort of like, um, think of it like the, uh, like the tone arm of a record player. A record player? Have you guys ever used a record player? I did. When I was a kid, they were still around. Um, you know, record, right? Vinyl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how about a cassette? Anybody have a cassette? Uh, anyway, it's like the tone arm of a, of a record player where it has um, a, a point of, um, you know, where it's connected to the player, but then the arm itself moves, right? It's movable. And this one part up here is just kind of where it, um, where it emanates from, right? Where it's, uh, where it pivots from. Okay. So you can see if I'm playing on this string down here, and if I move my arm around, notice it's not a lot of movement. Uh, when we get to the point where we're strumming, um, that's still relatively not a lot of movement, right? It's, it's some, it's a little bit more than just picking the strings gently like this. Um, but it's not much movement. It still remains in contact with the guitar. Occasionally, we uh, get our arm completely free of the guitar. In this class, uh, the beginning guitar, we typically don't do that. I want you to have contact with the instrument. Um, and then, you know, in a short amount of time, your muscle memory will, will take over with that. Um, another thing I want you to try is, uh, and this is more typical with the nylon string guitar, the classical guitar, when you're playing in classical finger style. Um, but for some of you, you might find it uh, comfortable um, right off the bat. You can, uh, instead of elevating your right leg and resting the guitar on your right leg, you can elevate your left leg, okay? And then put the guitar on your left leg. This is how we play in classical style, which is typically all fingers and then um, whatever we need to do on our left hand over here. So um, this immediately is going to feel different. Um, and again, for me, for classical guitar, it's way more comfortable. When I play electric, I don't play this way. I play with the right leg. If we were to really categorize it very generally, um, steel string acoustic, an electric guitar, you're playing with a guitar on your right leg. Classical, um, you're playing with it on your left leg. Again, that's just very, very general. Play however you want to play. Play however it feels best. Um, I'll be able to evaluate you in your videos that you send me. Um, and, uh, you know, we feel free to experiment. It's not you choose this way, then you're, you're set that way. You do that way forever. No, you can move it around, you can experiment. It's good to do so. If I'm sitting in the same place, recording in the studio for four hours, five hours, I've got the guitar moving everywhere. I've got it here. I've got my right leg elevated. I've got a left leg. and You've got to get comfortable if you're sitting in the same chair for so long. Um, and since I mentioned it, let me show you what that's like on the electric guitar. If you have an electric guitar, um, most electric guitars are, are like this, right? Stratocaster very thin body, as you can see, compared to the acoustic guitar. Um, they're typically a bit heavier. It's more solid wood um, and smaller dimension neck. Um, as I said, when I play electric, I play generally with it on my right leg. Uh, more often than not, after a very short period of time, as I said, especially in a recording studio situation, um, I've, I've got to get my leg elevated. Um, these also come with these uh, strap uh, strap buttons right here. So you can have a strap on the guitar and you can elevate it. You can do that now if you want to do it for this class. Um, even if you're sitting down, some people like to maybe have a strap and play with the strap. 
um, or uh, just try what I mentioned here, have a footstool or the elevate. Uh, you can easily, as I said, switch to your left leg and try it that way. Um, be, try to be flexible. That's really important too. Um, so the other thing I would mention uh, at this point is your general, uh, general posture. Um, it's kind of a big thing. Uh, I think most of us uh, find ourselves in situations from day to day where we don't have to have any kind of good posture. Uh, if you're sitting on the couch, you're sitting in a recliner, and I will admit to this, I do, um, you, you slouch, you kind of just, you know, let your bottom scoot forward in the, in the chair and then kind of lean back and you're just kind of all over the chair, right? <laughs> Not a very good posture. When you're playing a musical instrument, uh, you would think that it's only your fingers that are important, only your fingers that are moving. Um, and that's not the case. Where, where does the flow of blood come from to get to your fingers? What does it go through? Um, your lymphatic system, right? Where, where, does all the, where does all that stuff go? Uh, your, um, you know, your neurological your nerves, right? Where does all that stuff go? Are there spots where it can get pinched along the way? Yes, it can. Have you ever had a pinched nerve? It feels horrible, right? Um, if you've ever woken up in the morning and your arm is asleep, uh, as a musician, that kind of freaks you out. For a split second, you're like, oh, what's wrong? Am I, am I ever going to play my guitar again? And then five seconds later, you're, you, know, you feel your sense of feeling coming back. Okay, that's good. I can play again. Good. Right. Um, but I think we've all felt that, right? We ever feel that tingle of your arm falling asleep. You've cut off not just the circulation, but you've, you've cut the nerves off basically, and you can't feel anything. And you start to get that tingling situation. That's your, that's your nerves kicking back in again. Right. Um, and we need to be aware of that, right? We need to be aware of that whenever we're playing, uh, an instrument, um, and so what I like to have you guys do is if you're, you're sitting in your chair, uh, I don't know if you can notice, but I have a, a stool. Um, I'm not using a, a regular chair with a, with a, a back to it. Um, because you get better posture playing an instrument if you uh, are sitting in a chair and not using the back of the chair. So you, if you have a, a chair with a back on it, scoot forward a tad to where you can sit up straight, right? have to be like military rigid right but just up straight and then just kind of let yourself settle you know so let yourself go <laughs> military at attention straight and then just kind of rest right and that's that's where your posture should be you should have a nice erect posture not rigid not tense but upright and not leaning back on your chair Right, that's pretty. That's important. So your your torso is is straight up, you know, perpendicular with the ground. Um, the other thing we want to look at, and this is another thing that most of us do, I do. Right, if I'm just sitting, going through day to day, you know, we slouch forward a little bit. Your shoulders collapse, and what does that do? That that makes you breathe shallower and yeah, really, really shallow. And that's not good. That's not good for us. You know, if you give yourself that, you know, bright, upright, erect posture, and then this looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, and it feels weird. I can feel muscle tension on my neck right here. I'm breathing really shallow. And when you're trying to talk, that's not good. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta breathe, right? Um, if you were to, if you have your arms like, like this, you know, roll your shoulders, roll in a little bit, but if you open your palms up, try to take a deep breath as if you kind of, you know, puff your chest out a little bit like that. You feel your shoulders roll back. Your arms kind of open up this way. Might feel weird. Most of us don't really do that. It looks awkward. It looks awkward demonstrating it to you but I have to over-exaggerate it a little bit on camera, right? Um, but it throws the shoulders back. All of a sudden, my column of, of air just, 
you know, I can breathe in a ton of air. I feel it go all the way down to my abdomen, right? Ton of air. And what does that do? That opens us up to, to that, to the playing position we should be in. Do you see the difference? Like, like this, I don't think I look, I don't look uncomfortable. I'm not rigid. I'm relaxed. See that difference? That's a big difference, right? So from here to like that, right? Now, this kind of brings you visually farther away from the guitar. So what we usually do is, and you might not be able to see this on camera, but we actually put the, the face of the guitar, instead of having it, you know, perfect, the guitar flat, like perpendicular to the ground, it's kind of angled this way a little bit. And again, that's something that's, that's kind of workable. That that's not, it's not an exact location. It's just enough to where I can see if I kind of look down, glance down, I can see all of the strings. Um, I can see them. I don't see them perfectly flat. I can see them at a slight angle, you know, maybe 20 degrees or so, just enough to be able to see the strings rather than go like this and kind of look over. You know, and that's okay. When you're first learning, you have to kind of look and see what's going on. If you look over at your fingers like that, just know that when you do that and you'll feel it, you'll feel that tension in your neck, right back here. And if you do that for minutes and hours on end and day after day, you start to get sore and you, you know, um, that'll affect you after a while. And I don't know if I want to practice guitar. I always get sore after that. And, you know, and, and that's why, right? We have to make sure we have that that posture. So it's okay to look, it's okay to kind of lean over, you know, look at it, do what you got to do, but just catch yourself, you know, and, and you'll still be able to see the chords we need to make or the things we need to play. You'll be able to, uh, to, to see it. Uh, and more importantly, you'll be able to feel it. Uh, and, uh, this is an activity where your muscle memory kicks in pretty quickly as you'll see. And what does that mean? That means a lot of repetition. Uh, so in summary, um, your, your body position, you know, you're, um, sitting up straight, your shoulders comfortably back. You don't have to pin them back, right? Just deep breath, open your shoulders up then just kind of rest. That's what good posture is. That's what proper posture is. And then your left arm rested at the side of your body, bring it up. Where your hand, wherever your hand position is there, that's generally where your guitar should be, okay? And then you can either have your leg rested on the ground with the guitar on your right leg or left leg, try both, <laughs> um, and you can elevate. And the whole point of elevating, the whole point of all this is find the position that's comfortable. Um, and if you imagined just how you were sitting without the guitar without playing the guitar. And if you were to sit up straight with your, your uh, legs and your, your feet flat on the ground um, and your legs straight out, you know, how would you, how would you sit with good posture and then bring a guitar? Okay. It feels pretty good here. Let me raise it up. Oh yeah. There you go. That feels good. Right. You have to move it around a little bit. You have to experiment a little bit. Um, so that's the basics of how to hold the guitar. And uh, in later videos, uh, we'll of course get into a lot more detail. So enjoy experimenting how to hold the guitar. See you next time.